time to know the top stories of the day. I'm Jenny Arado. This is News Bits Tonight. President Rodrigo Duterte has agreed to run as vice president in the May 2022 elections, ruling Partido Democratico Pilipino Lakas ng Bayan or PDP Laban said in a statement Tuesday, August 24, 2021. In a statement, the party also said its senatorial slate will include House of Representatives Deputy Speaker Rodante Marcoleta, Department of Information and Communications Technology Secretary Gregorio Hunasan, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Salvador Panelo, Department of Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade, and Department of Public Works and Highways Secretary Mark Villar. Cabinet Secretary Carlo Nugrales, Executive Vice President of PDP Laban, said Duterte gave in to calls for a transition of leadership that will ensure the continuity of his programs against terrorism, insurgency, corruption, poverty, and illegal drugs. Nugrales also cited the need to continue the Build, Build, Build program and the 10-point socioeconomic agenda of the Duterte administration. He further stressed the need to ensure that the Coronavirus Disease 2019 or COVID-19 vaccination program is sustained. Nograles did not state who the party's standard bearer would be. In previous reports, however, members of the party said they will nominate Senator Christopher Goh as president. Christina Alivio, Newsbeats Tonight. A health official attributed the surge in COVID-19 cases in Santa Maria Davao Occidental on activities that result in mass gatherings including sabong and gambling activities. Dr. Doreen Arshaga, Incident Commander for COVID-19 Response in Santa Maria, said in a virtual presser on Monday that Santa Maria had the highest cases of COVID-19 in the province. The health official said most patients violated various health protocols based on their contact tracing history. She said the province, in accordance with the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Disease, prohibits sabong and gambling as these drew crowds, which is vulnerable to the COVID-19 transmission. While she did not provide the figure, Arshaga said majority of the current active cases are participants of the online sabong. As of Monday, the population area had 114 active cases. Ralph Liemet, Newsbits Tonight. To check more stories, visit our website www.sunstar.com.ph slash Davao. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also grab a copy of Sunstar Davao at Davao Central Convenience Stores, 7-Eleven, and nearest news outlets. That's all you need to know for tonight. Good evening.